questions for the first speaker's evaluation, I would like to call for us if we are on the stage. It's not my fault that I am here again as a table topics master, but I said you want to be evaluated. He, he told me to be evaluated, so I had no choice. In so I'm here again. Okay. So, Turban, that was your second Pathways speech, but your 18th speech in Toastmasters. Now, let's start with the positive points before the improving points. First of all, I would like to compliment you on your use of visuals. You're an experienced speaker, and you did not make the mistake that 90% of the experienced, not beginners, 90% of the experienced speakers make with visuals, putting too much details on the slides. You didn't do that, you didn't have too many slides, and your slides supported your speech. That was a good demonstration of use of visuals. Congratulations. Your fluency in English is good, your English is understandable, clear, and the pace of your speech is good. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. Now the improvement points. The title of your speech was, What Makes a Good Leader? When you make a speech like that, you should not place too much emphasis on just one person. You talked about the Fenerbahce basketball coach. Yes, okay, you talk about that he's a good human being, he, he, he's passionate and everything. But in a speech about leadership, what makes a good leader, you should give at least five examples, five people, and list the characteristics of leaders. It was very vague. I mean, you talked about this basketball coach, kind of a basketball coach, but you did not tie into your main idea of what makes a good leader. It was quite vague. And the conclusion, you said, you turn to the job, you say, that's all. That's not a conclusion. In a conclusion, you should emphasize your main point. Standing here too long without moving back and forward, when we have a U-shaped table set up, means that you are ignoring the people here. They're just watching your backside. So you should be moving around, taking into consideration the shape of the table setup. Now the next points I will make only because you are an advanced speaker, because you made 18 speeches. I will not make these speeches to a beginner. I believe that your level of experience is here, but your level of public speaking skills is below that. There is a gap. After 18 speeches, your level of public speaking skills should be here. There, what is missing in your speech is passion, energy, and motivation, and enthusiasm. You cannot fire up an audience with monotone voice, lack of body language, lack of passion, lack of enthusiasm. If you want to connect better with the audience, especially when you make a speech about what makes a good leader, you have to drive the point home. You have to be more passionate. You have to be more energetic. There has to be energy in your voice. If you don't do that, then you cannot make a point and convince the audience. And a person who has made 18 speeches should be much more passionate much more better, better love, body language and much better demonstration of vocal variety. I think you have the ability inside you. You can do it if you want to. So bring, I want to see you bring your level of public speaking skills up to your level of experience. Good luck. I think you can do it. <laughs>